In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the underwear from your maternity photos to only show your client's body shape. Hello photographers, welcome back to my channel. For the ones who doesn't know me, my name is Silvia. I'm a specialist in the magazine style of maternity photography. In this channel, I talk about professional editing techniques to help you make more money with your photos. Now let's get into the video. There are many clients that love those photos where you were naked and you can see the whole body shape and they also and they always ask me to take photos like this. One of the first things that I'm really concerned in my business is making my client feel very comfortable on their photo shoot day. So the way that I do this naked photo is by having them not to be naked in the photo shoot, but I ask them to use a nipple protector and also to be on the underwear. And then I can work and remove everything later on on Photoshop. Today, I want to show you my process of removing the underwear and making it seem like they were naked in the photo shoot. The technique that I like to use for this is starting with the frequency separation and when I'm starting the whole skin retouching process, this is the part that I will go and already start removing the underwear. So I do everything kind of together. And right now we have this photo here that I have cropped because I just want to show the belly. And this is the photo that we are going to be working with. So just to make this look a little bit better, I'm already going to clean the background here. I'm going to make the selection and I'm going to also select this other side. And I'm going to go to edit content aware fill. And this is good. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to remove the selection. I am going to live like this. I'm going to put this layers together. So comment E. Okay. This is our background. Let me just put in here background. And this is just fixing the background. And another thing that I'm going to do as well is removing the husband's leg from the back. So I'm just going to go I'm going to make a quick selection here. I'm going to use the pen for this. And I'm going to go around her leg. And just make a quick selection like this. And make selection. I'm going to use feather of two. I think it's good. So now I'm going to use the stamp tool, the clone tool. And I am going to just start painting this part. Okay, and he's not here anymore. I think that I can just get this part a little bit better here. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just gonna use the pen tool. I'm gonna go on the line of her leg, just repeating the process. And I'm gonna make the selection here. Opa. Make selection. Okay, now I'm gonna go with the clone tool and I'm just going to paint this. So now it's already looking better. For right now, I'm just gonna clean this part as well because there's this line that's a little bit lighter that's bothering me. I, um, this photo has no um, retouching, it's a, it is a raw photo. So another thing that I wanna do right now really quick, just so the photo looks a little bit better. I'm gonna correct a little bit of the lighting as well. So I'm gonna press Command Shift A. So we have our photo here. Now I'm gonna adjust a little bit of the lighting. I'm gonna reduce a little bit of the highlight and the whites as well. And I'm gonna bring down the shadows to make it a little bit darker. So I'm gonna hit okay. Now let's start the process of removing the underwear. And the way that we are going to do this is by using the, um, the frequency separation technique. So it is at the same time that I do retouch the skin. I'm gonna do a little bit fast retouching on the skin as well and then we jump in in how to remove the underwear and how to remove the protector here as well. 
So to do the frequency separation technique, you're gonna duplicate the layer twice. And in the first layer, we are gonna type tones. In the second layer, we are gonna type texture. I'm gonna put both layers together. And here we are gonna do skin, retouch, plus remove underwear. And now on the tones layer, I'm, we are gonna apply the filter blur Gaussian blur and you're gonna choose a number where you see that the texture is being removed a little bit not to the point that's all blurry like this where you don't see anything you don't really see her body shape but to a point that here we have texture and when you start going up slightly going up you can see that it is removing a little bit of the texture. So for this photo, for example, the number seven, number eight is pretty good. I'm gonna go with eight, and I'm gonna go to the texture layer, image, apply image, and you're going to choose the layer that it's under the texture layer, so in our case, the tones, and that's what you wanna choose right here. You're gonna change the blending mode to subtract if it's not on subtract, and you're gonna leave 100% scale to an offset of 128. So you're gonna hit OK. And right now, you can only see the texture. It does look weird, this layer, so we are gonna change the blending mode to linear light, so right here. And now we can see that everything's good. We are visualizing the photo just normal. The tool that we are going to use to do the skin retouch and to remove the underwear and the nipple protector is the blend the mixer brush tool. So just right here, select the mix brush tool. I'm going to create um, another layer of the tone layer. So I'm just going to create a copy of it because if something happened and I do something wrong, I also have another layer just to come back for just in case. So I'm gonna be working on tones too. I'm gonna to stop visualizing the texture so I can actually see what I'm doing with this layer. And I'm gonna start with the skin retouch. And right here on her belly, I am just trying to blend the tones of her belly so it's a little bit smoother. And the way that I like to do it is by doing, creating um, circle motions and keeping still the lighting where it is. I'm not working and readjusting the shadows and the light or anything. So this is good. I'm gonna go a little bit fast in this process. Here on his arm, we can see that he has um, a watch, probably um, 10 mark here. So I'm gonna just drag the color of his skin to cover this tin here that he has. She has a red mark here on her hand. So I'm just gonna, again, drag the color of her skin and remove that red color right there. I can see that there is a little bit of the white color of the protector. So what I'm gonna do at this part here is just the same thing that I did before. So I'm just gonna bring the color of her skin down here to where it's a little bit lighter. And I think right now this is good. So I'm gonna do the same thing to remove this the protector here. I am gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna start bringing the skin color down, but be careful to not bring too much and ended up getting to her arm. So let me just go back here. I just wanna bring this a little bit down and remove this white color. And I'm not gonna go all the way. I'm just gonna bring really close here. And you can still see a line, a white line right now. And the way that I'm gonna complete this is by actually grabbing the clones on the clone stamp. 
and I'm gonna clone this area here and I'm just gonna paint that was too much I'm gonna make it um, I like to be hard and I'm gonna make a little bit smaller size of a brush and I'm gonna lower a little bit of the opacity in the flow I think I went too much so right here and I'm just gonna fix this part here there we go so I think that this is looking good I'm gonna bring the texture layer back and I'm gonna work already on this part of the the protector so the way that I like to do this that I think it's easier for right now that we have a big area is by going and selecting the patch tool so I'm gonna first remove this part here and I am in the wrong layer so let's go to texture okay so now I'm gonna make a big selection here without getting close to her arms or selecting her arm and I'm just gonna bring this here up here and right now um, we already have um, her protector kind of almost completely removed because I'm pretty close to the line of her arm right here I don't like to use this tool you can use this tool however I do prefer to use the clone stamp here and I'm just gonna select here and I'm gonna go a little bit closer I'm gonna go up with the opacity and the flow I'm gonna go with a little bit smaller brush and I'm just gonna do this part here with the clone tool and there we go if you think that there is a little bit of color to fix just go back to the to the tones um, layer and just fix a little bit here but I think that is pretty good right now and you can work with the size of the brush so let's see from far away it is looking good I think I'm just gonna adjust this area as well here I think it might be texture so let me just adjust a little bit of this part here and I'm gonna go back to the clone tool I'm gonna go with a bigger size and I'm just I'm cleaning a little bit of the texture and the tone here around her arm and now I need to work also in this other side where I can still see the protector so let's see here I'm gonna start with the texture so I'm gonna clean the texture here because we don't want the protector if you went too far just press command Z like I did right now and I think this is good let me see if there is anything to work with the clone with the tones okay this is good and now I can see that um, that redness that she has on her uh, um, on her hand right here I need to fix the texture so I'm gonna go back to the patch tool I'm gonna make a selection here and I'm just gonna clean the texture around that part and this is good now let's see from further away let me just clean one more thing here that I'm seeing it right now and it is texture so okay let's see from further away and here it is the before and after of the protector now let's go and remove the underwear this is something that's going to be very challenging so let's start first working with the tones the part that I want to start is right here close to the hands so right now I'm gonna first create a selection and I'm gonna go around the fingers 
to make it easier for us to actually see the fingers and, if it, and everything let's just have the texture layer also able to see so we can go around make sure that we are in the perfect line here and right now i'm gonna start with this part here that it's the easiest part that we can do and for that i'm gonna stop visualizing the texture i'm gonna go to the stamp and i'm just gonna bring up this area here and now let's just fix this other part here I'm going to use the mixer brush just to mix a little bit. Now I'm going to go back with the texture and I'm going to clean the texture right there. So I'm going to go up with this part. I'm in the wrong layer. So let me click on the texture. And here. And we now removed that part. It's looking pretty good. And right now let's do this part here um, of the finger. So I'm gonna go back to the tones layer. And I'm gonna go back with the mixer brush. I'm just gonna bring the skin a little bit up here. And I'm gonna do this part as well. So I'm gonna bring the skin down. So I'm gonna have a bigger brush. And I'm just going to bring this, drag it down. And I can do a little bit to this other side here. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back to the texture. And now I'm going to correct that with the clone. So let me just start erasing this part here. Way too much. Okay, and now this part down here. So you just need to be a little bit patient about this process. Okay, so now let's do this part here. And I'm gonna go back to tones again. And what I wanna do now is to bring a little bit down of her skin and also bring a little bit up of her skin. So I'm gonna try to make the colors of the skin to meet in the middle. So I'm gonna bring this down and I'm just dragging down just dragging down you can also do that with the stamp so for example i'm going to bring this up now and you're going to see that it looks a little bit weird the color but that's okay and we can bring this down And now we are going to use the mixer and we are just going to try to mix this a little bit better to be a little bit smoother, the transition. And look how, be careful to not bring, for example, the outside color to the inside of the selection because now you're making this part of the skin lighter because you're dragging the color of the underwear to the inside of the selection. So just Look out for that. Okay, so let's look a little bit from the outs, um, from a little bit further away, and that's looking good. So now let's go back to the texture, and let's go to the clone again. So I'm just gonna clone this part here. 
and now this part down here let me just get out of um, get away from the fingers and this is gonna be good okay so I'm gonna press command D to um, remove the selection and now I can just drag this to be like that and I'm gonna go back to the tones layer I'm gonna use the clone I'm just gonna clone a little bit of the upper body of her skin down here I'm kind of gonna do the same process And I'm going to bring a little bit of the other tone of her skin here. It's okay if it's not perfect. Okay, and this is good. So now what we are going to do is go with the mixer brush and just make them to have a better uh, mixing of the tones here. And you can still, I want you to keep this shadow here that she has of her belly. So now I'm going to drink up a little bit the, um, the lighting of the legs here. And she has, um, because of the underwear, she has a little bit of a line in here. So I'm going to clean this line just a little bit, bit, just a little bit. So I'm trying to mix the skin, but it's still keeping the, the lighting of her belly, if that makes sense, and the lighting of her legs. I'm just trying to, uh, here it needs to be clean as well. I'm just trying to uh, make it actually seem that she still have that rounded belly because she's pregnant and she does. So I'm just trying to not remove this part. That's why I like to copy a little bit of the, on top of the underwear and a part that's below the underwear. So I can kind of keep still the same lighting and shadows on the skin. Let's remove the texture now. So I'm gonna go with the path tool. I'm just gonna create a bigger size here to remove this. And just clean this area a little bit. I'm going to clean I'm going to clean this part here. And I will fix this later. Um the color and the texture I will fix this a little bit later when we have when we start working in just one layer. So right now, this is looking pretty good. We have removed the underwear. I'm gonna go and put all the layers together. So Command Option Shift E. And right here, let's fix this part now. So I'm gonna go with the clone, clone tool and I'm just gonna fix this part here. Okay, now this is looking good. Another thing that I wanna fix a little bit is that the color, I can still see that it's a little bit lighter color. So I'm gonna create another layer and I'm gonna go with the brush tool. I'm gonna select a color here and I'm just gonna slow, uh, lower the opacity to probably 10. I'm gonna paint this area just a little bit Let's see if it's working, yeah. 
and actually I'm gonna change the blending mode to color so I'm just giving some color to this part here beautiful you can see the difference here and another thing that I want to do I'm gonna um, put this layer together and another thing that I want to do is to make the lighting different so I'm gonna use I think I'm gonna create a curve tones and I'm gonna lower a little bit the luminosity oh this is a beautiful lighting for the um, the color of her skin by the way I'm gonna change the blending mode to luminosity because I don't want it to change too much of the saturation of the skin and now I'm gonna go with the brush gonna go with maybe 50 40 percent and now I'm gonna stop visualizing the layer so I'm gonna change I just changed the mask from black to from white to black pressing command I on my keyboard and I'm just going to paint a little bit where I want to make it darker because I want that shape of her belly to still be here and if you think that it is too much just go lower with the opacity and slightly bring up I think this is pretty good I'm gonna do 70 and we still have this shape here so now what I want to do is to actually create a little bit of a, of a curve right here because it is kind of like the fold between the leg and the belly and she lost that a little bit so I'm gonna just create another layer I am gonna go and use the burn tool let me change the blend mode to luminosity and with the exposure of five I'm gonna see where the line was around here so let's just imagine the line right here and let me just go down with the exposure so I'm gonna do five and I'm gonna start creating some line a little bit here I'm gonna reduce the paints the brush I'm gonna make this a little bit more dark I'm going to change the normal to luminosity and I'm gonna make this darker on her belly here so start creating that curve of her belly okay so now I think that this is looking good this is looking way more realistic I'm gonna put all the the layers here together and one thing that I want to do is go to liquify so I'm gonna press command shift X and right here I just want to fix a little bit of her body shape so I'm just gonna bring this a little bit to the side I think this is good and we can fix a little bit of this shape here as well let me make her belly let me go a little bit further away a little bit bigger I just want to also fix something here that's bothering me a little bit so I'm gonna use the patch tool in this part here just gonna clean this and here's how we are changing the whole body it does um, ask you to have a little bit of patience and a little bit of time to work on this but it looks pretty good and I'm just gonna fix this part of her arm as well
I forgot to clean the background with the skin retouch. I'm gonna go and actually use one of the actions that I have here, blur background. And now the background is fixed. Let me see, before and after, this is perfect. So here it is, our photo. I am gonna go and put all of this together in a folder. And I'm gonna say that it's remove the underwear. This is a kind of photo that I love to do black and white. So I'm gonna do the black and white version of what I would send to my client. But this is pretty much complete here. We have removed the underwear. We have removed the, the um, nipple protector. And now I'm just gonna go and do a quick black and white version of this with more contrast in the lighting, which is um, makes the photo a little bit more interesting as well. Here it is, the black and white version of the photo. I do love to bring more drama when I'm working with black and white to have more contrast. One thing that I want to finish in this colorful photo as well that I haven't finished is the color grading. So I'm going to apply my color grading. I'm going to do this one, 50%. gonna hit OK. Another thing that I'm gonna do is um, add some presets that I have here as well. Let me see. I think this is good. Here it is, our photo. We have removed the protector, the nipple protector and the underwear. It's not all the way done yet, to be honest. I would like to work more with the lighting, for example, on the arm and leave more of the lighting here on the belly to call to get the attention to go to the belly but this is how um, the process of removing the underwear how i do it it's not a fast process but it's a process that works for me very well here's the black and white version i really really do love the black and white and i think that um, when you do black and white for nude maternity photos is just beautiful gorgeous and my clients love them but this is the before and after with the underwear so here's the before and here's the after before and after now you know how to remove your clients underwear from the photo creating those beautiful nude maternity photos click the like button if you like the results if you want to know other ways to improve your skills to make more money with photos check out my videos here on my channel. Also subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every week. For now, this is everything. I really hope this video was helpful for you. Until next time.